this is a very poorly planned operation and very poorly executed operation, especially in that first phase. The Russian war machine has misfired, says Ed Arnold, an analyst from the UK's Royal United Services Institute. He describes the Ukrainian will to fight as exceptional during the first days of Moscow's invasion. But now they could face a mounting challenge from Russian forces. What we're seeing now from Tuesday onwards is a regrouping, a change in tactics, much more brutal tactics, which is actually how the Russian way of warfare is. A similar take on Russia rethinking its plan from the Pentagon Wednesday. We believe the Russians are deliberately actually uh, regrouping themselves um, and, um, and reassessing the progress that they have not made and how to make up the lost time. And when it comes to the Russian convoy of military vehicles, an estimated 60 kilometers long, on a road headed to the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, the U.S. assessment is that it remains stalled. We still believe it's Mr. Putin's desire to, uh, uh, to, to topple the government. Um, uh, in order to do that, he believes he has to take Kyiv. He continues to want to advance on Kyiv. That advance has been stalled. They are working through that, we think, right now. And, um, and a big reason why it's stalled uh, is Ukrainian resistance, which uh, continues right up to this hour. Going forward, though, Arnold says a key part of Ukraine's operation will be ammunition resupply, an obstacle because reinforcements from Western allies, including Canada, will need to be shipped from drop-off points away from the front line in places like Poland. But Ukraine has a key advantage, he adds. The Ukrainians have fought very well and morale is very high, um, and that is infectious. They see this as a fight for national survival. And on the Russian side, morale is very low and only going to get lower unless significant objectives can be uh, taken within the next couple of days. And for the first time, numbers coming from Russia's defense ministry on the number of soldiers it says have died in the conflict so far. They're reporting nearly 500 fatalities, and that is well below the tally that's being reported from Ukraine. They're putting the number at closer to 6,000. Now, the true numbers, it could be some time until they're confirmed. Melissa Duggan, City News.